Hello, hello everybody. Welcome into my sweet home living today. My name is Tracy Campbell and I'm going to be your hostess for today's project for the next 45 minutes over in the Craft on the Clock group. If you're joining us from there, welcome. So excited to have you here. If you're joining me on my page or maybe even on the replay on YouTube later, welcome to you as well. We're so excited to have you here no matter where you're watching from. Before I begin, uh, get into today's project, I want to let you know I've had so many of you asking lately if I have some sort of a notification system. And typically I just rely on the Craft on the Clock notification system, but I've created my own notification system for you today. And the Telegram channel link is right here. If you uh, don't see it at the bottom of your screen, if you're watching this on YouTube later, you will not find it on your screen. You will find it in the video description. Um, but it is linked here. If you push the little link, there's a little link icon in the bottom, sort of the right corner of your screen, I believe. If you tap on that, it will open up lots of my most commonly requested links for you. If you have a question or need to know where to look for something, that is your tool guide. So welcome on in today. I'm so excited that you all are here. I do have the Telegram notification channel for My Sweet Home Living. If you want notifications when I go live or reminders, or sometimes we might have some fun things, different things posted over there as well. It's just a Telegram Messenger notification app. You can download it on your mobile device and click my link. You'll have to click join and you'll get my notifications. Just sort of like a texting service, only it's free for me. It's free for you, so it's all good. <laughs> Hello, this is Stephanie from Portland, Tennessee. I am from Western Kentucky, so welcome on in. So excited to have you all here. Teresa from North Carolina. Good morning, Miss Nancy. I'm just now hopping on. I probably was a minute or two late. I was trying to get my cord untangled from my mic and oh, <laughs> last minute little jitters. Yeah, I still get butterflies every time before I go live. Just, just last minute jitters. So welcome on in today. So excited you all are here and happy Monday if you're watching us live or shortly after we're live today. We are making a primitive style faux tin lantern. I get lots of questions about some of my little lanterns, my little candle lights that I use. And so, you know what I thought? Let's make a faux tin lantern today using some grocery trash. Yes, that's right. We're going to repurpose something today, turn it into something very cute that you can use for your home decor. And it only costs you a few pennies, really. Um, and I'm going to show you some shortcut techniques today, a way to personalize it, make it your own, you know all the jam. <laughs> Good morning, Miss Teresa from Berea, Kentucky. Welcome. So excited to have other Kentucky friends here watching. Well, <clears throat> we are repurposing another Country Time lemonade container. Last week, was it last week? A week before? I don't know which. We already repurposed one of these before. These are an awesome size. These are ginormous. Uh, 63 ounce of Country Time flavored drink mix. I love these containers <laughs> and uh, my kiddos love country time lemonade no sponsored post here by the way <laughs> um, but this is just something I have all the time that I'm I'm gonna throw away unless I find a way to repurpose it so I encourage you to find some items that you are throwing away or just don't feel quite right throwing away find some ideas to repurpose them which is what we've been doing lately jars containers we've used an oatmeal container we've used a country time lemonade container all kinds of things that you can use we've even used yogurt containers <laughs> for pete's sake <laughs> we've been doing lots of repurposing around here so take some things that you have and find some ways to uh, make them your own thank you for letting me know where you're watching from today and if you would before you leave me today, just press that heart button at least once before you leave me today. That would be awesome. And uh, if you feel so uh, led to, share us out. That would be amazing as well. I really think you're going to love this project today. So <clears throat> my inspiration, if you all look behind me, I have one of these little, I think this is called, no, this is not the Paul Revere Punch Tin Lantern, I don't think. I have several little tin lanterns around my home, and this one is one that you all see quite a bit. Um, and then I have another one and I set it up here on the side today so you all could see this one. This one right here is sort of like on a little pedestal and has a little reflector plate behind it. That's another one. And then I have probably two or three others in other parts of my home um, that I'll show you all occasionally. Even in some of my other live videos, I have another one uh, that has a glass front. <clears throat> and of course, sort of has a little loop at the top, sort of like this one does right here. But I wanted to give you all some DIY inspiration on how you can create your own because unless you find a really good deal or really good sale on those 
tin lanterns or metal lanterns or uh, whatever, they can be pricey, you know, depending, you know, you have to shop around quite a bit to find a good deal, which is what I have done, <laughs> is finding a really good deal on them. But I think today's project, if you're looking for one and haven't found one, I see somebody from Lexington, Kentucky. Welcome, Janice. If you're a newbie, also let me know that as well. Love to know if we have new friends here. So excited you all are here today. Hey, Miss Sharon from Tennessee. Hey, uh, Miss Dee Dee, one of our loyal fans here. We appreciate her help. She's always helping out in the comments, and we just love her to pieces here. Thank you, Miss Deanie, for being here. Um, but uh, I thought, I've seen several ideas of people using things like grain scoops as sort of like a lantern, and I didn't have the real the particular style for a scoop in order to turn it into a lantern. So we are really starting from scratch and making something I think you're really gonna treasure <laughs> before the end of today's show and before you leave me today. If you want notifications the next time I go live, because I don't have a regular schedule, click that link to join my Telegram channel and I will send you notifications to your mobile device about 10 minutes before I go live, okay? I'll set that up for you guys. So what I have done, and you know what this even still has a little bit of drink mix in here real life around here <laughs> keeping it real um what i have done is i've kind of used the combination here i have used this drink scoop or drink scoop oh drink mix and grain scoop combined <laughs> drink scoop oh my brain is feeling a monday <laughs> feeling a monday so i've taken this grain scoop and what i have done i kind of fit it on to my container Okay, as you can see, and I actually have another container here. I was going to kind of walk through this same process with you guys. Just fit my container in there as well, and I was pretty lucky. It, it's a pretty close fit, okay? See that? I've just kind of fit that on there because what I wanted to do is I wanted the shape of this scoop on my container so that I could cut it out. So let me see. Where's my Sharpie go? I have a Sharpie. Tell me I have my Sharpie over here. I... Um, here it is. It's just hiding. <laughs> I thought I was really prepared today. Hello, hello. I'm seeing. I'm missing lots of comments, you guys, but keep them coming because you guys know I always love going back and reading your all's comments after we're finished today. And that kind of keeps our project going too, so you guys don't have to wait around um, or feel like you're wasting your time. Because I appreciate you being here. All right. So I've taken my grain scoop and fit it onto my container just like so. If you need to swipe your comments over to the right, if you're watching on Facebook Live, then you can do that and you'll be able to see exactly what I'm doing. If you're watching this on YouTube later, if you use the YouTube app, you will be able to see my video full screen. <laughs> just, just letting you know that because I've had several of you uh, message and leave comments about that. So I've really fit that in a good squeeze. Now if you don't have a green scoop to kind of copy the shape of, create a template. Use some cardboard and kind of cut out your own. Use a piece of poster board. A piece of poster board would probably work best. Uh, create a little shape out of some poster board and wrap it around and then I'll kind of give you a little template to where you can trace around your container. These curved containers or cylinders, I should say, they're really hard to kind of get your shape. If you're just freehand cutting, it can be a little tricky. <laughs> so I would use a template for sure, okay, in some form or fashion. So here we go. I'm just going to trace around this grain scoop the best that I can, making sure I've got a good fit. <clears throat> Okay, and I'm using uh, just a Sharpie because we're going to paint over this later and you won't even see those Sharpie marks. Okay, so we, we're not going to worry about that too much right now. And this is just a super simple and it's not going to cost you but just a few pennies to create. Ah, now we're done with our grain scoop, so let's toss it over to the side. So I have my shape, you see that I have my shape trimmed out on my container. The next thing I'm going to do, and you guys are going to chuckle at this, I just needed a piece of, um, and I don't know, you won't be able to see it on that little lantern behind me. It has a little lip, a little ridge around the bottom. Even though it's open in the front, um, it does have a little lip around the bottom, and that's because you can put in some florals or some greenery or berry, pit berries of some nature in the bottom of that, and it sort of feels like a little container. So I don't need to take my cut all the way down to the bottom. I do want a little bit of a rim around the bottom. So here's what I did, another piece of grocery trash. I made a template. <laughs> this was the uh, the end piece of my um, Kraft macaroni and cheese, um, Kraft shells and cheese, Velveeta shells and cheese, I don't know. <laughs> um, something like that. <clears throat> 
but I folded it in half and that gave me about the size that I wanted around the bottom. So all I did, I used that as my template and I just traced a little bit of a rim. Oh, I got that really off. I was in a hurry, you guys, hold on. Let me straighten that back out. I think I, when I refolded it, I really did a number there. <coughs> um, gosh, I really got off. Okay, so that's gonna be our little rim and that will let us know that we want to keep this little section right here, all right? So what you're gonna do then is you're gonna take a box cutter, okay, or some something of that nature, and you're gonna cut a longer line. You're gonna start, I like to start in this little corner right here at the corner top of my little scoop shape. I like to cut down to this line, okay? I'm gonna cut down to that line right there, that little corner. <laughs> then I'm gonna cut across, all right? Cut all the way across. And then I'm gonna cut to right there and then cut up to here. And then I cut across the top of the curve, okay? I have already done that for us except for the bottom over here. Kinda see right here. I kinda already have my shape somewhat cut out. I stopped right here, so I'm gonna cut across my front, and that's gonna create the little rim <clears throat> of my container. So let's get that cut out real quick. Go slow, you guys. Please use every safety precaution you can when you're using um, a sharp box cutter. This is thick, pretty thick. Um, it's, it's sort of like a thick cardboard. I don't know what the technical term for it is, but it is thick, but it cuts pretty easy. You just have to be slow. You have to take your time. Don't get in a rush. Okay. Now this is a straight line, so I thought surely I can handle this on a lab. As long as I just keep my fingers out of the way, <laughs> we're good. We'll be all good. And I'm cutting downward and away from my fingers. Okay, all right, I cut, I can see where I kind of went cut down a little too far when I was first getting this ready, when I was preparing this before we went live today. Whew, this last little piece is gonna be a stinker. Okay, there we go. This is kind of another piece that you could sort of turn into a lantern, although this is our scrap, okay? So let me fold this back up so that I do not create any sort of snafu here. All right, I do have a little bit of drink mix left in the bottom of this, so I am gonna kinda clean that out because no one me, I'll get that in my paint or something and make a real good mess. Instead of having coffee grunge, we'll have some lemonade grunge. <laughs> okay, now what I'm gonna do let me show you what this is, looks like so far. After I get this pulled out of here, cleaned out of here rather. Okay, so here's what we have, okay? We have a little shape that looks like this. It's pretty simple, <laughs> pretty simple. Hey, Mama Sinette, how are you? Hey, Mary and Carol, thank you all for hopping on today. So, we know that chalk paint will almost stick to anything, you guys. So, I'm using chalk paint to give us that faux tin look. And then I'm gonna add a little surprise element, I think. We're gonna experiment with this. I've never done this, you guys. This is totally just off of the top of my head today. Um, <clears throat> I have never tried this. So we'll see together if this is gonna be a flop <laughs> or we might really think that it's so fun. Um, who, oh, I see somebody. Hey, Miss Mary, how are you, sweet friend? We have lots of creative sisters and brothers on here probably today or watching the replay. If so, you all feel free to come in as your, as your business page name. <clears throat> we always welcome that here. Okay, let me get the top. This is a brand new um, bottle of Waverly chalk paint. It is just their basic black, although I don't think they call it black. The color <laughs> name is called ink. <laughs> But it's just black, you guys. And chalk paint is really good. Oh, that is super thick, you guys, and that's a brand new container. I am gonna use a sponge brush. You know what? I'm gonna wipe this out because this does have some dust from that lemonade mixture on the sides, so I need to make sure I have that good and wiped out. 
so our paint will stick good. <clears throat> we'll let that dry. We'll paint on the outside first. Uh, chalk paint is good at st it's sticking to lots of different surfaces. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So I think um, we'll be perfect with this type of paint. And um, you could, I could totally mix a little bit of my coffee grunge mix in with my paint to get it a little bit thinner, but I kind of do need a thick coating to kind of cover the graphics, the design on this con th this container, um, because it's, it's got lots of print on it, so. And I am gonna go around that silver rim around the bottom. There is a shiny silver rim around the bottom, so I wanna make sure it's still there. Hello, how are you, my little rustic farmhouse? What a cute page name, let me know um, what your name is so I can make a connection with who you are. Uh, Oma from Alton, Illinois. Welcome. You're not too far away from me. And actually, I'm going to Illinois later on this fall in November, the second weekend in November, heading to the Barn Sale Trail. Uh, there are several of us creators meeting up there again this year for that. And it's always a fun time if you like Chris vintage Christmas and you like junking and picking and finding good treasures, just like I do. You'll probably want to check it out and you may be able to even meet some creators while you're there. It's November 11th and 12th. We are going to be posting more information about that. They do have, um, we do not organize that event. We just like to attend that event. <laughs> um, but one of our creative sisters, she is um, one of the organizers of that event, Miss Chasida from Custom Southern Co. You can check her out. She loves vintage things as well. and. Um, it is a barn sale trail. We, um, they have a trail of like nine, 10 barns that you can travel through and they're all relatively within probably like nine or 10 miles of each other um, in Southern Illinois, in Massac County, Illinois. So we love going there and making a weekend out of it and just having a fun time. So if you're near that area, I would encourage you to check it out. We will be posting more information about where us creators will be and where you can have an opportunity to meet up with us if you are interested in that kind of thing. Uh, we'll be posting information about that very soon because you guys, that'll be here before we know it. It's already almost October. Can't believe it. Okay, I'm just taking my chalk paint and I know you guys can't see this step, but I wanna make sure that I get a good coating on this. Um, so I'm kind of doing this angled towards me well, I'm giving you all the good details about our upcoming meet and greet and Christmas shopping trip. Okay, now I'm kind of, let me get my dryer going. That way I can multitask here and uh, we can dry while we paint. I do want to make sure I kind of get the inside and the bottom of this little container coated really well. I'm not terribly worried about the, the inside bottom um, about streaking anyway. I do want it covered with some black, but I'm not too worried if it has some streaks. Um, <clears throat> okay, now I'm gonna let that do a little bit of drying and then it won't take very long at all because actually that cardboard kind of soaks it up. So we'll see if it needs another coat or not. I don't know if it will. But even if it does, we might go ahead and skip ahead because I don't want to keep you any longer than we have to today. We do have another creator coming up live at 11.15 over in the Craft on the Clock group today. So, um, And actually, we have live crafting Monday through Friday, every day of the week, Monday through Friday, from early morning to late at night, usually around 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. at night. Give or take a little bit, Monday through Friday, we have creators every 45 minutes over there. So if you love live crafting, if you love, um, you know, meeting new friends online or just having a good friendship with, um, you know, people who enjoy the same thing, I encourage you to check it out. Let me know down in the, uh, below and I can give you the link to that group if you've never heard of Craft on the Clock. <laughs> I'm sure probably most of you have, but just in case, you never know. And we do always have lots of friends that, Rewatch this video later over on YouTube that may have never heard of us. So uh, we welcome anyone and everyone that loves crafting. So uh, just wanted to make sure that everybody has a chance to meet us up over there in that group. All right, you guys. I see a little bit at the bottom around this rim. Of course, we probably have it a little bit thicker right there. 
and actually I see a little bit of streaking but you know what the cool thing about that is I kind of like it um, I'm not seeing any of like the lettering or the graphics of the design that was under it so I think I'm gonna leave it because it kind of makes it look like brushed tin like brushed um, metal sort of I don't know <laughs> I don't know. I may get, decide that later that I need to give it another coat, but I think we're good for now. I just don't want to get my hands in that wetness around the bottom. So we are good. Now let me wipe this off. I know we have a little bit of black paint down here. I forgot to bring my craft paper over today to, to cover my table, but that's okay. We have wet wipes on hand. Whew, that was messy. Okay. Oh, I see a little spot right there on the top that I kind of I may have touched that. Just put a little bit right there. Okay. <clears throat> Next step. Now you got several options here, you guys. Um, what I'm thinking about doing, because I like the look of tin, and you know how sometimes it kind of gets that powdery look to it? You guys, we have 234 watchers on us on our live today. That is amazing. That is amazing. Amazing. Um, thank you all so much. You know what on the inside of this container i didn't think about it it had some it had like a silver coating on the inside of it and so those streaks kind of show through and it kind of makes it look like brushed metal even more i didn't think about that that was so cool <laughs> all right so i'm taking some baby powder i don't know if this will give me the effect that i'm going for but if you all know like brushed tin or brushed metal it can kind of have that galvanized-ish, powdery type look to it. That's kind of the same effect that I want to go for for this. Uh, so I'm going to try out some baby powder. You could possibly all, all, um, also, I'll spit it out in a second. I always get tongue-tied at least once or twice in each episode. <laughs> so I didn't want today's episode to go um, without uh, one of those little episodes or occurrences today. I'm going to sprinkle this and I'm going to rub it. And I'm going to see if it gives me that powdery look. I'm thinking in my head it should. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. I'm just going to rub it. I probably should have brought some paper towels over to kind of rub it a little bit better. So I'm going to tap off. I don't know. It kind of looks a little spooky, although that wasn't the intention. <laughs> that was not the intention. I need a paper towel. That'll give me a more consistent um look let's see um, if I use a wet wipe it's gonna be too wet do I have something else that I could use um no I don't hey Gracie bring me a paper towel please okay all right she will be I don't know if she can bring it to us Ooh. <laughs> okay we're gonna blow out some of that extra it's a little splotchy so let me show you what we have it's a little splotchy that's why I'm thinking I need a dry paper towel so I think we'll wait till she can maybe come help us and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle the back go ahead and sprinkle the back and that's gonna kind of give me that powdery look powder finish I think I think um, I don't know if any of my kids are even listening most of them are occupied doing some work so we'll see, we'll see. Oh, you know what, I got a paintbrush. Oh, would you grab me some paper towels? That would be handy, thank you. I was fixing to try this little paintbrush to see if that would work. Oh, that'll work too, thank you babe. Um, this will kind of work too, we'll see, we'll get both effects here. So I'm gonna take my paintbrush and I'm gonna rub it in the same direction. And you can see it's brushing off the excess, but it's kind of leaving some cool streaking on. Oh, I love that. I love that. <laughs> now, the thing is, if you put sealer on it, it's probably going to make that fade. You know, it's probably going to soak that up, and I don't think you'll see it. So, you might, if you want to seal yours, I would seal it first and then brush on your powder. Okay? So, actually, I need a little more powder here. I'm just going to pick up some powder with my brush and add it right back on here. And I love that. I love, oh my gosh, I love it. I love it. Okay. Whew. Okay, I'm glad that worked out. Now, you may have to repower it occasionally. I don't know. <laughs> but I love that look. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do here. You guys have seen the little battery-operated candles that I so love. 
I have been hunting high and low for um, a distributor where we, I can purchase these for you guys. I have not been able to find a distributor that has these exact candles. I've come really close, but their prices are way too high. Uh, so I don't consider them a wholesale distributor. So I'm still looking. I'm, 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 I'm closer than I was a week ago. <laughs> but um, I think I'm going to use this and show you what this would look like. Okay, I have just a little wooden candle holder that I've uh, I actually purchased this one, but I think you can find these at Hobby Lobby. Just a little wooden candle holder, painted it in the same chalk paint black. Now, this is a, one of these automated tapers. I love these. However, you see, that's a little tall. So depending on your container, okay, you might have to adjust your candle. Even if I put it in there like without the, the candle holder, it's still gonna be too tall. So I've got another backup plan, okay? You can, you can find some shorter taper candles. I just don't have any shorter taper candles. So here's what I'm gonna do. We're going to improvise and we're going to use some more grocery trash. Turn it into some treasure. <laughs> uh, hey, Miss Sonia, how are you? I have a cardboard roll from some aluminum foil. This is like heavy duty. It's super, super thick. It's not like a paper towel roll. It's heavier. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of judge how tall I want my candle. And I'm going to cut this down using the same box cutter that I used earlier. So I'm thinking, let me look at this from my angle for just a second. I kind of want it short. Okay, I'm just eyeballing this, you guys. Just eyeballing it. All right, I'm gonna make a little mark on my tube, okay? And I'm gonna use my box cutter and I am going to cut in, hopefully, to this tube and cut it across because I want it short. Now, the thing that I'm going to use next, you guys have probably seen these, and I see them a lot around Christmas time because they go in the little Christmas village houses, okay? And I happen to have some extras from my Christmas village set. So I'm using one of those today. So let me show you. <clears throat> it's one of these little uh, cords, okay? And what I'm going to use for this. I'm going to take this and I'm going to see if I can't get it up in this little tube like so. I might have to take those little metal pieces off. Oh, there, there they go. Um, it may take a little finagling to get it up in there, but it's going to be a good fit and it fits pretty well, but I would probably take that little metal piece off if you have the choice. Um, I should have brought my little metal cutters or my... Uh, metal cutters over here to kind of cut those off. But here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use a little bit of elbow grease. <laughs> I'm breaking sweat over here, you guys. <laughs> I'm gonna poke this up in here. It's kind of catty cornered here and it's gotten jammed. Okay, there we go, that might work. And I'm gonna take this all the way down. Oh, I think we got it. Okay, I worked it up to the top here. Okay, so this is kind of, you see where we're going with this, right? I have my hot glue. This is gonna be the top of my candle. Let me show you. I'm gonna use one of these little silicone bulbs. Yes, I am. <laughs> yes, I am, we're gonna make it. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is create a little bit of wax. So you would think you would start at the top and go down. I like to do it the opposite. I like to start at the bottom. They want my paper towels. I like to start at the bottom of my drip and go up. And if you want to look, Look at these little candles, for example. Do you see the clump, the little glob? Excuse my paint covered fingers. The globs are at the tips of the drips, okay? When you do glue gun, when you use a, glue, a hot glue, your glob is wherever you start your stream. So I wanna start my stream. Oh, my hands, I am shaking like crazy. Start my stream and then drizzle it up. Okay, do you see that? Uh, yes, yes. So we're gonna go around and we're gonna do uh, some little drizzles. And then we're gonna cover it. Oh, rats, I forgot my paint for this little candle. That's okay, that's okay. You guys will know what to do. All right, this is gonna be so cute. I can feel it. 
All right. Okay, so there's my candle with my little wax strips, okay? My gosh, my hands are shaking like crazy. <laughs> okay, let that glue dry. So then what you can do, let's see. <clears throat> I don't think it'll I don't think it'll fit in that now so probably what I will have to do I will have to cut a circle a hole out in the back of this little container I should have done that already but I'm gonna show you hmm I have a little hey gray are you available Sawyer <laughs> I'm trying to think of something I could uh, glue this to. Actually, I got an idea. I have a little metal, a little metal plate that I can glue this to and set it down in there, but it's out of my reach, I think. Ah, give me that little black handle holder that's right over there on that table. Yeah, yeah, I think that'll work. We'll see. Thank you. All right, so I've got these on Amazon. Let me show you those. I think this little circle, I think, uh, it's not gonna, it's not gonna, oh, that's so close. You know what? Hold on, let's see. No, it wouldn't. Okay, so here's plan B, plan C, plan Z. Are we at Z yet? <laughs> I'm going to, I think, let's see if it'll work in this. I should have put that in there before I put my cord. All right, we're thinking out of the box here. Let's just glue this down. <clears throat> okay, I think my glue drips are okay on there. I'm gonna go ahead and cut out a circle on the back. It probably won't be a circle, just something big enough to get my plug through. Okay, it's gonna be a little rectangle and I want it at the bottom, you guys can see that. I want it at the bottom right here. Let me take that little uh, telegram thing off there. All right, um, in the back center, if you put it at the bottom, you're going to be just fine. You won't see it because we are going to decorate inside of this so you will not even see this little cutout. Okay. Now, if you want to make and sell these, I would use a, a little um, circular drill bit. And I see right now I need to be cutting from the inside as well because I'm going to pull that paper up. Because this is sort of like a layered cardboard, it will start to peel, sort of like a can of biscuits. You know how you get a layer and it kind of wants to peel? That's kind of what will happen if you're not careful. Okay, I think that'll do it. Let's see. I think that'll do it. Okay. Now I'm going to take this cord and I'm going to string it. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Okay. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> Goodness, I got a tickle in my throat. <clears throat> okay. Now I'm going to set my candle right in here, but you see my cord is preventing it from sitting flat. So here is where we're gonna fix that problem. I'm checking to see which side I like of this candle better. <laughs> I need to cut a little notch, a little tiny notch. Boy, I need like three or four arms here. I'm gonna cut a little notch at the bottom of this little tube to allow for my cord to go into so that it will let me sit this flat and then I can glue it can hot glue it okay let me show you what I did this will be the back and I will paint this candle <laughs> I just didn't bring my colored paint over here um, to cut to paint it I cut a little notch in our little tube okay and boy I got black paint all over me so I'm gonna I'm gonna um, here's what's gonna happen that little cord is gonna set up in that notch <clears throat> then we'll be able to hot glue this down in the center of our little cylinder, you guys. Oh my gosh, so cute. Okay, now we, we're getting ready to get to the really good part here. <laughs> we're, 
where we can embellish it. <clears throat> this is going to be so cute. So cute. And it's only going to cost us just like a few pennies, you guys. Literally, we're using trash <laughs> and turning it into treasure. Okay. Now, of course, I have touched all over this, so I have kind of smeared my powder coat. So I'm just going to take my brush again and kind of dust over those spots where I see where I have fingerprints on it. And then once you get it in its final sitting place that, where you want to keep it, then, you know, do a double, you know, do another um, sweep over on that and it'll keep your powder coat looking cute. Yes, we have light. We have light. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. Oh my gosh. Now we got to decorate this up. But is that not looking so stinking cute? Okay. So you got several options. We can use some little pip berry garlands. Let's just let's just go through the motions here and let's see what we got. I do want to make sure that um, that cord and my hole in the back is not visible. How simple and sweet is that? That is so cute. So cute. Just that alone is simple. Okay. Simple and primitive, which, you know, primitive is a lot of simple style, you know, things. And so keeping it simple will keep, will let you keep it out all year long through the seasons too. These are just little candle rings, you guys. I have a little mustard color, colored candle ring. Okay. To hide that uh, cord and to hide that little cutout in the back. I'm going to take two little pit berry rings. It's a little bit thicker. Okay. I'm going to kind of ruffle them up a little bit, mix and match because these pit berry uh, little candle rings, they were two different colors. One is like a real dark, um, sort of like a, hmm, I don't want to say burgundy, but almost like a dark plum. And then the other one's kind of a mustard color good good primitive you know colors to get to work with so that's two of them together and that looks more full i love that i love that a lot so if you wanted to take that idea you could do that um right now i do know that hobby lobby and i might have them um in a bag what am i hung on right here take this out i do have some little greenery candle rings as well this would look cute um, in the spring and carry you through the summer. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm so excited that this turned out today. How stinking cute are those? Now, I mean, that looks like 10. You can't tell a difference. And literally, we turned <laughs> a country time lemonade container into a primitive little candle lantern, little candle light. Um, if you wanted to really get fancy, you could have a time, like a real short timer taper. Um, but this one is electric and I showed you how to wire it through the back. Um, if you wanted to make your little cutout look a little bit nicer, um, I would suggest using a round, uh, circular drill bit that'll drill you a nice clean circle shape that makes it look, you know, a little more professionally built. Um, but yes, and I love those brush strokes and we did the powdering technique. How amazing was that? <laughs> I hope you guys love today's project. If so, please let me know down in the comments below. And if you want to see something specific that we haven't done here before, let me know. Send me a message or put it in the comments. Um, I always love to see what I can bring you that you guys are interested in. Um, and like I said, I know many of you have asked about my little lanterns, my little tin lanterns. This is just a sweet, inexpensive idea. We're talking some of these lanterns can be anywhere from $75 and up, okay, depending on where you purchase them from, the sizes and all of that. But I think this is a good fix for a faux tin lantern, you guys. <laughs> is that not cute? Yes, we used this tin container. I have another one. I have another one. <laughs> I have another one. So guess what? I think this is so cute. So, so cute. Uh, I think you all could do it on your own as well. I mean, I really do. I don't think it, there's anything too complicated about it. Uh, and we use all kinds of grocery trash. Use that container. We used an aluminum foil uh, roll to make our little candle. I love it, you guys. I love it. Another winner today. So excited to have you all here. That will be all for today. 
join me again. I will be live again this week. If you want to know when I will be live again, you can check out my Facebook stories or you can join my new Telegram channel. If you push that little, there's a little chain link symbol down at the bottom right corner of your screen. If you click on that and find the one that says My Sweet Home Living Telegram channel, click on that and join it and that way you can get notifications to your phone, just like a text uh, message, sort of. It's a free service for me, a free service for you, so it's a win-win for everybody. <laughs> all right, until next time, you all head on over. If you're new to my page, make sure that you give me a follow before you leave today. I would so appreciate that and be back to join me again next time. We do have another creator coming up in two minutes over in the Craft Round the Clock group where we have live crafting Monday through Friday, early morning to late at night uh, for your pleasure. And if you want to know more about that group, let me know down in the comments below and I'll be happy to send you more information. Thank you so much for being here and have a wonderful day. Bye guys.